Alright, hey guys, Fiddle Ferret here, and welcome back to another Manga Spotlight video. Um, so these are pretty much just like my first take videos. That's mostly what this is going to be, um, but this is kind of different than like a strictly say manga. I did another one of these for the Fairy Tale uh, Masters edition just because it was a little bit different. So today, as you well know, we are taking a short look at the Monster Girl Encyclopedia. So didn't really know what to expect per se from this book when I first picked it up because like I just thought it was in plastic because it was mostly pictures and you know that it's seeing as it says for mature monster fans only I probably should have realized um but so I kind of was like oh it's just gonna be smut it's just gonna be you know whatever but it's surprisingly informative in a weird way so Monster um, Girl Encyclopedia, it has like, it almost reads like an actual book. One might say an actual encyclopedia. Who'd have thunk it? Um, and so it's got, it kind of starts off with this like introduction and it actually like almost does this whole world building thing, which I really didn't uh, suspect exactly. Um, so it pretty much goes through the whole story of how all of these monster girls and humans came to live or be because pretty much all of the monster beings they're all female of course they are so it goes pr pretty much like this master um or grand succubus i can't remember exactly what her um, her title was pretty much cast this whole giant thing over all monsters um that pretty much made them all well pretty much made them all want dick if i'm being completely honest um, instead of like eating humans now, um, monsters kind of coincide, um, cause it kind of makes it sound innocent at the beginning of the book, but some of it really isn't innocent at all. Um, now monsters, uh, beings survive off of like, uh, fruits, vegetables, that's my phone, uh, fruits, vegetables, and, um, essence. Essence. Human essence. Um, which basically boils down to once you get to it, Saliva and sperm from males. I don't think it necessarily has to be from males. I think you can get the saliva from females as well. I'm not really sure if I'm being completely honest. But you get the idea. So it's pretty much this whole perverted universe where, you know, the, the, the best meal for a monster girl is the D, per se. One thing really good I've actually got to say about this book is that, first of all, it's a really nice hardcover book. Like, a really nice hardcover book. Um, but it actually is very well made as far as as it's, like, written and put together. Like, you know, it, at, its, at its core, it seems like it's really just going to be, you know, Monster Girls and the D. But it's actually surprisingly informative in some spots. Like, there are, like, parts where it's just, it outlines, like, the history, um, in the past of, like, monster attacks on humans and how things came to be and what things are like now. Um, and then it goes through each individual monster, um, and it gives, like, a short little summary of them. Now, most of these boil down to kind of, like, the the way in which they interact with humans, usually how they interact with human males. Um, but some of it, like, is actually very sinister. If you actually read some of these, like a lesser succubus, which is one of the first things in the book, stop messaging me and making a video! One of the first things in the book um, is a lesser succubus, which, because the succubus are kind of like the master race because they've kind of orchestrated this whole thing. Um, and a lesser succubus is when a succubus goes after a woman and injects her with her, I don't know, succubus essence. And, um... And basically, it turns her into a succubus. So that's kind of... It pretty much the woman, the human woman is overcome with, like, lust. They do it. And then she's pretty much forced to become a succubus. And then is, you know, is now a monster girl. So some of this is rather sinister. Like, I was reading, like, um, on the one about the dragons. Um, they don't really like humans because they're such a proud species. They're kind of like one of the head honchos. Um, and so basically, if they ever do take uh, a man, um, he pretty much is their slave for life. They pretty much keep him safe and, you know, keep him as their plaything, plaything, for as long as he lives. So, 
it's interesting. It's not all this like, ooh, nice little no. Like, so it still keeps along their monster personalities and traits, and it outlines that very well in like well detailed pages, which is surprising. So it's, just, it's got this really nice table of content and stuff. Um, so I was just kind of surprised with how this whole thing was laid out. And obviously here's just a little like kind of glimpse about what's inside. Um, a lot of, a decent amount of um, all the characters have like these little pictures. Um, and a lot of these are extremely graphic. Um, so basically if you did want to get this, keep that in mind because that is the main reason why it's in plastic is because um, a lot of the pages, I'm on, I'm on page 69, I had no idea. So this is like, it says Lizard Man, which is weird, I don't know why it says Lizard Man. But it like lists a whole bunch of cool stuff. Like the family, you know, is like the lizard, the type is reptilian, um, ha uh, habitats, caves, it gives like a nature diet, then it gives like this like brief history of them and how they interact with like humans and stuff. Um, so then we have like a lizard, a, a sal oh a salamander right here. Like here's a centaur, this one has a picture but it's not a lewd picture so I can actually show that one. But anyway you guys can kind of get the point. But it's got like these really cool things, like there's actual like stuff to read in here, a big old table of content, so a whole bunch of cool stuff inside. So anyway guys, I do hope you enjoyed this kind of spotlight, um, kind of first impressions on Monster Girl Encyclopedia. Um, obviously it is available now, at least as far as I know. Um, it was kind of hard to get when I got my first volume. I waited, um, I ordered it on the day it came out and it took me a while to get it because they kind of disappeared rather quickly. Um, so if you want yours, make sure to get it soon and I believe there is the second Monster Girl Encyclopedia is coming out. Um, later this year, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway guys, um, I do hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you back on the prowl next time.